Hi, Amity. Summer's coming and you know what that means. Lazy days, sleeping in, eating lots of ice cream and watermelon, and lying on the deck reading. Even if you're just looking for a book for your summer reading project, or if, like me, you use the summer to catch up on all the reading you don't have time to do during the year, we've got some recommendations for you. We asked the Amity community, your friends, your teachers, your administrators, what they like to read. And here's what they told us. I just wanted to share with you what I'm going to be reading this summer. Um, it's, it's from the Game of Thrones series. Started watching the HBO show, got intrigued by that, decided to pick up the books. I read the first three books in a matter of, of one summer, and now here I am reading the fourth book, Game of Thrones. The beauty of these books is that you get the detail and the background of why getting to the throne is such a big thing and you understand more about the politics of all the human interaction that's going on in the TV series. Pick it up, try it, it's fun, it's good, exciting. My favorite book is The Alchemist. I chose this book because it's about following your dreams despite the obstacles that stand in your way. So if you've ever faced adversity and you're looking for a book about strength and courage and dreams, this is the book for you. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green is a story of a girl my age who struggles with cancer. I love cooking and baking, and so I also love nonfiction. And so I found this book last summer called Don't Try This at Home, and it's by Kimberly Witherspoon and Andrew Friedman. They're the editors, and these are stories from famous chefs about their worst kitchen nightmares. So a lot of quick stories uh, about real life disasters by famous chefs. What first attracted me to A Thousand Splendid Sons was that it was written by the same author as The Kite Runner, a book that I really enjoyed. And this book, A Thousand Splendid Sons, gave me a look at Afghanistan women and the struggles that they face. And it really gave me an appreciation for what they go through. And it's a great book. I'm sure you'll love it. I'm Amy Miller. And I'm Kassan Pine. And I'm the faculty advisor. And I'm the president of the Young Adult Book Club. I'd like to recommend Sarah Dessen's Just Listen. It's about a teenager and another teenager and love and difficulty. It's a story for everyone. It's also the book that began the Young Adult Book Club when a few students who graduated three years ago um, came to me and were talking about the book one day after school in my class and thus began our club. And I would like to recommend The Sea of Tranquility by Katja Mala, which is about pretty much the same thing as um, Just Listen. Um, but it has a really um, suspenseful plot and really interesting characters. So yeah, um, if you like to read, then you should join the Young Adult Book Club. If you read, you belong. A book I'm suggesting to read this summer is The Song of Spider-Man. I like to read my books on my iPad, which is, I um, mean, I can carry it with me and I can read multiple books at a time. But The Song of Spider-Man by Glenn Berger tells the story of the um, hugely unsuccessful Broadway musical Spider-Man, Turn Off the Dark, that was written by Glenn Berger and, um, and uh, members of the band U2. I'd love to recommend the book Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace. It's about family and education and addiction and tennis and entertainment. It's uh, wildly funny, but it's also very serious and it helped me become a person who pays better attention to the world around him and the, uh, the thoughts and feelings of other people. The Hot Zone by Richard Preston is a thriller of historical fiction that outlines the struggle of CDC workers in containing an outbreak of Ebola, a deadly virus, near Washington, D.C. A book that's had a huge impact on me is a book by Ayn Rand called Anthem. It's a book about finding your individuality in a post-apocalyptic age um, and forcing yourself against societal norms. It's a really powerful book. The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls is a really good and impactful memoir about her struggles with poverty and neglect of parents as a child and how she overcomes it. Hi, I'm Mr. Clark and I recommend American Born Chinese by Jean Luen Yang. It's a graphic novel and uh, it's really funny but it's also really informative and uh, it's a real eye-opener to how hurtful and how damaging a racial stereotyping can be but it manages to get across this message in a really funny way. In the Heart of the Sea by Nathaniel Philbrick, a story of the Nantucket whale ship Essex, which in 1819 was rammed and sunk by a sperm whale. And it tells how the survivors of, of the sinking tried to make it back home. Einstein's Dreams by Alan Lightman. 
an intellectually provocative book that's easy to read and a great way to learn physics. Waterworks by E.L. Doctorow is a thriller about an investigative reporter who is looking into or who's following a person who was previously thought to be dead.